Happy Wednesday, Matt here with your Wednesday Word. I hope you're all doing well. I've got a simple question that I want you to think about, to ponder on over throughout this video and throughout the, the days and even weeks to come. And that is, is Christianity just crazy? Think about that. It is the whole thing with Jesus and the Bible and creation and, and we're designed with a purpose and the image of God. Is all this stuff just crazy? You know, I was listening to a podcast, and, and, the, and the guy hosting the podcast, I won't say his name, had another guy on there, and they were talking back and forth about how here we are almost, we're in 2019. And with science, and the world's evolved so much, they were saying, how can anybody believe still in this craziness of all these religions? And they were talking about Christianity and Mormons and Jehovah Witness and um, Catholics and Muslims and all this stuff. And they were just saying... We have science, we have knowledge. How could anyone actually believe in they call Like this alien or this, this whoever being you want to think of, does anyone actually believe this day and age that someone left heaven and got killed, then rose their body from the grave, and now they're a way to save us? And does anybody actually believe this? And they were, they were talking as if you believe in Jesus Christ. You believe that Jesus left heaven, lived the perfect sinless life, died on a cross, was buried three days, rose again, went back to heaven. Like, you're just crazy in this day and age if you believe that. Like, obviously, we have so much information these days. Obviously, you don't believe that. I mean, yeah, maybe in the 50s, maybe that. 80s, maybe even 2000, but surely in 2019, you can't believe that nonsense, right? So there's a verse in the Bible I want you to ponder on. It says, study to show thyself approved. Study to show thyself, you, me, thyself approved. And what I mean by that, don't just listen to somebody like me who gets on here on YouTube on a podcast rambles and gives you facts or opinions, whatever. Don't listen to me. Don't just listen to your pastor. Don't just listen to your mother and father. You better study to show thyself approved. And at some point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you and, and, and explain this, that there will be a time, it might be now, it might be five years, it might be 20 years, there will be a time in your adult life when you have to decide for yourself what do I believe? Not what my grandparents believe, not what my mom and dad believe, not what my brother or sister, my college roommate, my friend around the corner, or what my pastor told me. What do I believe? And you've got to study to show yourself approved. I heard a lot of people ask me when I went off to college at Virginia Tech. First Sunday, first Sunday out of Virginia Tech, I said, okay, um, I've researched some of the churches. I'm going to try out this church first. And, and a bunch of my roommates said, uh, this was this was 1999, my first year of college, said, uh, you, you're going to church? I said, well, yeah, Sunday morning, let's go. And, and they, they kind of sat back like, you know, I can understand you did that at home. And I, I, some of them even knew my parents, said, man, I know your parents, they're good godly people, but Matt, you're, you're here to do what you want now. I said, I'm going to church. It's Sunday morning, I'm going to church. I don't have my faith, my salvation, my hope, my future, anything because of what my parents have done. This has to be for me. And, and again, that's the question I want to ask you. Is Christianity just crazy? Is all this just such a nonsense makeup and you just, there's five cards and you say, I'm going to pick this one today. This one, I'm not, I might choose all the face just to cover my bases. I'm not going to believe any of them. You better study to show yourself approved. Because when, the, when you take your final breath, all your followers on Instagram, your likes on YouTube, all your education, all the money you made, and man, I made a couple million, and man, and all the people you had a lot of fun with in sports you grew up on, won't mean a hill of beans. So you better take it serious. What do you put your faith in? Now, as you know, with my channel, my faith is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. 
He said, for God so loved the world. The Bible says God so loved the world. He gave us Jesus that if we believe in him, we won't perish. We'll have everlasting life. And I can go on and on and on. And it's not, I'm, I'm so blessed and thankful to have grandparents and parents that have taught me this. But there was a point in time when I say my salvation, my beliefs, what I choose to do with my money, my time, my, my talents, all this stuff. It has to come from my faith, not what my parents or my grandparents or my friends or coworkers or preachers, whatever else did. And there's a coming time in your days. Is all this stuff just crazy? Have you put lots of hours and time truly studying, studying the evidence, studying the facts? And, and Andy Stanley has a, has a book called Irresistible, and he talked about the first Christians, they didn't believe because the Bible said so. They believed because of the resurrection. They believed because of what they saw. So many of them were killed, were flogged, were stoned, all this stuff to death, but they said it doesn't matter. We literally saw Jesus. We saw him crucified. We saw him go back to heaven. So you can kill us. This man controls life and death. I want to put my faith in him. So often, I tell people one of the best things to do is, you got to believe, did God create the world? Did he create man in his own image? Was there a separation for God? Was did he send Jesus to make a way that we can be our, our, our filthiness could be made like righteousness to God because of not the effort we've done, but because of what Jesus has done? You've got to learn and decide these things yourself. In 2019, it is not enough just to say, I'm just going to trust in what somebody else says or just kind of blindlessly go through life. There will be a point. Hopefully, it's not a health scare because I tell you, a lot of times I see in trials and health scares or, or, or maybe a terrorist attack. You saw after 9-11... The churches were flooded. Why? Because people said, wait a minute, I might actually be going to the next lifetime. Why were every, every church, they were backed out the doors after 9-11. You wonder why God allowed, God doesn't make bad things happen. Why does he allow bad things to happen? Look at the churches after 9-11. They were flooded because people realized this life is fragile and it can be taken like that. Is Christianity crazy? You got to decide. Study to show thyself approved.